Generating horizontal and vertical waveforms is a basic component of video synthesis. In order to create a two-dimensional pattern or shape, we need to have a horizontal element and a vertical element. The most immediate way to generate horizontal and vertical waveforms are with the ramp generator section on Visual Cortex. Let's look at the horizontal and vertical ramp outputs. We can also change the waveform from a ramp waveform to a triangle wave. And we can also change the slopes of the wave shape, logarithmic and exponential. Another way to generate horizontal and vertical waveforms is with a video oscillator, such as prismatic ray. We're going to patch the triangle output of one prismatic ray into the monitor. We can use a second prismatic ray to generate the horizontal component. Prismatic Ray allows you a little extra control over the waveform that's generated. In addition to frequency, you have control over the amplitude and the brightness of the internal waveform. Another way to generate a basic horizontal and vertical component is by processing the horizontal and vertical ramp outputs of Cortex with the staircase or the doorway modules. Let's look at the horizontal ramp from Cortex again. We're going to send that same signal to the input of staircase. Next, we're going to patch the output of staircase into our second monitor. Our source is the signal on the left, but by wave shaping it, we can multiply the frequency. You can see that this signal behaves quite a lot like prismatic ray. If we change the input to a triangle wave and then adjust our frequency control, you can see that the processing happens symmetrically. This is quite different from Prismatic Ray and provides another creative palette for your toolbox. Staircase also allows us to control the phase of the resulting waveform. By changing the harmonic settings, phase will change the pattern in different ways. Staircase also has simultaneous outputs at different frequencies. Doorway's high gain amplifier and outline mode allow us to create a different style of ramp output. We're going to send our horizontal ramp into doorway the same way that we did with the staircase. And doorway's output goes to our second monitor. In outline mode, we can control the width of a single repetition rather than the frequency of a repeating pattern. If we adjust the threshold, we're repositioning that line element anywhere on the screen. By changing our source to the vertical output, we create the same style of ramp moving in the other direction. You now know four different ways to generate the basic horizontal and vertical components required for shape or pattern synthesis. In the next video, we're going to look at ways that we can take these components and turn them into complex two-dimensional figures. Thanks for watching.